Ivan Felis from uh, CTN, the Marine Technology uh, Center, who will uh, tell us about artificial intelligence in service of uh, aquaculture. Um, sí, okay. Hello. Could you hear me? Yes, perfect. Okay. So I want to share. Do you see the presentation? Yes. Okay. So good morning. I'm Ivan Felis. I'm a research and development manager of the Naval Technology Center in CTN. And uh, after all, I want to thank you for uh, the organizers, for SECFO, for inviting us to this uh, webinar. I'm going to talk uh, about a particular application of artificial intelligence that can improve production and reduce impact in uh, aquaculture. Uh, first of all, uh, CTN is a non-profit association that works uh, to offer solutions to different sectors of the naval and marine, and marine industry, but not only, as research and innovation to combat. Uh, with this, uh, CTN promotes the strength of business, professionals, and public administrations to increase uh, the competitiveness of the, of, the, of the sector. Okay, for this, uh, we have a technical office made up of uh, the following uh, areas, a naval and uh, industrial area, a marine environmental area, new technologies, so our factory, an hydroacoustic laboratory, we have a large experience in underwater noise techniques, technologies, modeling. And in addition, we have an innovation service with an European project office, a national project office, training and technical surveillance services. Okay. So these areas uh, pull up by a series of uh, skills and capabilities. Among um, them, uh, I remark IoT, web, web technology, data science, machine learning and deep learning algorithms applying to time serial processing among others. I'm going to talk about some of, uh, of them in this presentation. Here is uh, some of the companies and entities and organizations we used to work and collaborate with. And uh, before talking about artificial intelligence, it's very important to understand the problem we are dealing. In business intelligence, it is called the, the business problem. Um, but before this presentation, Michel have uh, pointed some very interesting cases, um, but uh, now I'm going to talk about feeling control. In fact, uh, feeling control is one of the main things in the challenges, sorry, in the aquaculture. And uh, some of the region are the feeding process is a high cost for production. A significant amount, amount of food is wasted. With this and the environmental impact is increased both in the environment and in the surrounding fishes. A solution to solve this lack of control should optimize the feeding process in a sustainable way and taking into account its economical viability. When uh, this problem comes to us, uh, we need a review of the later existing technologies. In this uh, table, we can see the scope and limitations of uh, each system, divided by the techniques used. The cameras, acoustic, uh, active acoustic, and passive acoustic. These uh, are the, the techniques. Acoustic, uh, active acoustic uh, have the disadvantage that uh, they can be impassive for certain species and for the environment. The optical system are quite generic in terms of uh, species, but uh, the acoustic system are usually quite specialized in certain species or only for species with, uh, with uh, characteristic noise. By contrast, uh, camera systems are not usually autonomous in terms of uh, supervision. And finally, despite there are uh, systems applicable of both uh, mating, uh, mates and cages, there are usually tested uh, or, uh, or designed for one of them, or mates or, or cages. 
In this situation, SICA was born. SICA uh, is the acronym of uh, Intelligent Feeding Control System in, in Spanish. Um, the, the objective, its objective is to detect when the fish are going to stop eating and to warn to stop the feed, feed supply. Its main features are that uh, it is a passive acoustic system. Uh, it integrates machine learning and deep learning algorithms, and it is an EOT device so that it can be monitored via internet. Uh, the idea is that it will be valid for any species, of course, previous training of the system, of the algorithms. And additionally, it will be compatible with any type of feeder. There is an, uh, a photograph, pretty much, of the, of the current uh, SICA system. Okay. Here, it is shown the different stages of the technological readiness level, the theory L, of the, of the device. From the first uh, theory of concept to actual um, high theory of the V7 and uh, in this development we can find two fundamental phases. Firstly, under projects like uh, MAFID, technology was, uh, was tested in uh, inland maps. And secondly, under the demo project, the European demo project, the functionality, functionality was expanded for feeding control in offshore parts. Okay. okay, let's talk about the data understanding for each case. Regarding, uh, uh, okay, regarding uh, studies in math, the main features are low noise with a high signal to noise ratio of fish in the uh, feeding process, that it's uh, good. Easy monitoring because it's in land. And the feed was on demand from, from the fish. The guarding uh, cages studies, there is more background uh, noise, high variability of measurements with low uh, repetitivity. Periods were constant, and it was implemented a high sampling frequency monitoring system, both for acoustic noise and another environmental and process uh, parameters. In these images, we see some test scenarios in match and now in in game. Okay, here is the actual device, as I said before. Okay. Given this casuistic, we will see how artificial intelligence help us to address the problem. For this, we're going to review three basic concepts, the artificial intelligence algorithms, and the purpose of develop match, matchings that have human-like capabilities. Science and algorithms based on data, one of time answers or knowledge from, from that and big data, is dedicated to develop techniques to collect and manage large amount of data. With this, machine learning is a pair, a pair of the, as a subdiscipline of artificial intelligence whose algorithms are optimized to deal with data, big or small data. And deep learning is a subset of machine learning algorithms that goes a little further, dedicated to the analysis of large data sets closely related with, uh, with big data. Okay. Here it is shown some of the typical machine learning and deep learning algorithms. They are um, mainly based on, on neural networks. And uh, from all of them, uh, machine learning can be used, so we can try that machine learning can be used when we can apply some understanding techniques to extract features from data, and on the other hand, when we work with large amount of data, or it is more difficult to extract relevant characteristics from uh, data using classical techniques, deep learning algorithms are a good option. Okay, with this, in the case of uh, mapping, we have 
uh, we would uh, get we, we, we could get characteristic of the data the amount of data was moderate then the machine learning uh, techniques were a good option the use of uh, cages with less and less efficient um, conventional feature extension and with more uh, and more monitoring and large volume of data then uh, deep learning techniques were uh, were uh, good option however for optimal results, uh, the algorithm should be developed and adjusted through months of in situ monitoring. Okay, here it is shown some result of the training uh, algorithms. In the case of uh, math with machine learning algorithms, on the one hand, advanced signal processing allows to extract temporal characteristics of the signal that differ when they are eating, the fish are eating, compared to when the fish are not eating. With this, we can uh, develop, uh, develop a classifier that can be built uh, that allows differentiating the, the different states, eating or not. Okay. In the case of cages with uh, deep learning algorithms and um, monitoring the feed process in, in real time for months, the system learns to identify areas with, areas with more or less activity. Therefore, the monitoring it can be found if this activity is subject to feed consumption, consumption or other behavior of the fish. And now the system we are in the in the last phase of the SICA development in order to validate the algorithms into real uh, situation. And uh, briefly, that's all that I want to show you. Thank you very much. You have some question. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Ivan, uh, do we? Yes, mm -hmm. we have first question for you. Uh, are there uh, other objects you are doing with artificial intelligence uh, in other sectors? Other projects which you do? Ah, okay. Yes, we, we usually apply uh, processing technique in general, uh, also artificial intelligence in underwater acoustics. More related, we have underwater acoustics, for example, for detect uh, cetacean sea, detect uh, anomalies in, uh, in the behavior of the machines uh, in, uh, in boats. Uh, so all of them, or mostly of them, are related with underwater noise. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, mm -hmm. Any other questions? I do not see them mm -hmm. right now. Uh, so maybe later on, if we if we see that there is uh, other question for you, we will uh, of course uh, pass them to to you after the the webinar. Oh, Thank you very much once again for your presentation and for uh, for your answer.